The Grammy Awards was just a week ago. It was an exciting night for the borough as Brooklyn native Aruf Atab scored a big win, taking home a prestigious golden trophy. News 12's Phil Tate spoke with the singer about her groundbreaking success and what the win truly meant to her. Walking up to that stage, well, I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I was able to pull through and accept the award and say some things. And, and it just feels really beautiful, really. Aruj Aftab is still trying to find the words. Hot off the Grammy stage, winning in the best global performance category. The Recording Academy took to Instagram writing, quote, the first ever Grammy Pakistani Grammy winner is Aruj Aftab. It's the highest accolade in music in the world. So it's always there in the periphery of my, it's always been there in my mind, but I've always tried not to focus on it because it's so exclusive and so, so, uh, like they just don't give it to people. The Pakistani vocalist that was nominated twice is now a part of an elite club, scoring the win for the song Mohabbat off her third studio album, Vulture Prince. I've been trying to write Mohabbat for, for many years. Um, one of its first iterations was like in 2010. And so I finally took the time to get it right and I put it out. If Off Top isn't on your playlist, you may want to tap in. The songstress was even featured on former President Barack Obama's Summer Favorites playlist. Him putting that, putting my song on his playlist definitely like changed things for me for sure. Like so many people took notice. And, and I am really grateful for that. The Brooklyn-based singer has already inspired thousands with her momentous win. Her talents have taken her from performances at the Lincoln Center to Brooklyn Steel. Well, she'll be adding yet another high-profile stage to her credits. I'm playing at Coachella uh, in a couple of weeks, and I'm really excited for that. And then there's just a bunch of touring happening, three or four months of touring. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to start writing uh, my new record. Phil Tate. News 12.